Hi guys, I'm Robin, welcome back to my channel. This is my spring haul and I've got to tell you, I have got loads of things to show you. So I've not done a haul in like what seems like ages um, and I decided to do this one because I quite often put stuff up on Snapchat and my Instagram um, and loads of you guys ask sort of where things are from. So I decided I'd get all my recent pickups and pull them all into this video here. Um, before I get going, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, you're new, hello, uh, then please do press subscribe, it's right there. It's free, it just means you're gonna see all my videos as soon as they go live, you get a nice little notification. Super simple. Um, but my first thing in this haul is this hoodie that I'm wearing, and this is by a brand called Elusive London. I really like the colour, the pastel pink is perfect for spring, it's really light, and also the oversized fit of it is great for kind of just chucking on or wearing over skinny jeans. Um, it also works really well under this next thing that I've got, which is another sort of pink colour, but it's slightly more muted, um, and it's this bomber jacket, which is from River Island. I've become a bit obsessed with bomber jackets recently. I've got one in navy, and I've also got a camel one, which you might have seen. And I really like them because they're so relaxed, you can kind of chuck them over absolutely anything. Um, and also they're light enough, so when the weather is getting warmer, you're not gonna absolutely roast. The next thing that I've got is this olive green backpack. The silver buckles on the front make it look far more premium than it is, and it's also super functional. So you've got a bit at the back, which is perfect for it, like a laptop or an iPad or just notebooks. And then you've got a zip pocket, which is great for a wallet. I've got another backpack, which I've got here, which is from Forbes and Lewis. I really like this one because you've got the canvas of the actual bag and then the flip lid is in leather. So I really like that contrast. And then I wasn't too sure at first about the yellow leather across it. I thought it was maybe a little bit too 90s new rave, but actually we're past that point and it just sits really nicely against the black. And again, super functional. You've got this drawstring on the front, and then inside, you've got a zip pocket for anything more valuable. Now, if you guys follow my blog, manfromself.com, then you will have seen this piece that I had up. Now, although this isn't actually suede, it's full suede or suedette, I kind of just had to have it as soon as I saw it. I saw it on a mannequin, and I just really like the detailing on it. So it's got four external pockets and then the shoulder epaulette detailing. Um, and it's just something I think a bit different for suede because the trend at the moment is a lot of suede bombers, but this one just gives a bit more to the piece um, and makes it a little bit more interesting for spring. Now I went a bit mad that day when I was in River Island and I got two pairs of jeans. I got these first ones, which are a light wash denim. Now these look a lot more expensive than they are. They're a really thick, heavyweight, almost like vintage denim. Not like the stuff we're getting these days with the stretch, like the stretch skinnies. These are a slim fit, so they are gonna skim just nicely down your leg. They also look a bit like the Levi 501s, which are obviously a lot more expensive than these ones. The second pair of jeans that I got, also from River Island, were a biker jean. Now these ones are stretch skinny, so they do have a little bit of movement to them, but they are gonna sit a lot closer to your body than the other ones. Now they're biker because they've got this detailing, this ridge detailing just above the knee. Now I think these ones are perfect for wearing with Chelsea boots. So I've got two pairs of Chelsea boots that I picked up. I've got these first ones in grey. Now these ones have got a rubber sole and a suede upper, but it's the height of these that I really like. But these ones are just on the ankle and they sit perfectly below a pair of jeans or a pair of chinos or whatever you might be wearing sort of into spring summer. Then the other ones that I've got are a lot darker and I really like these ones purely because I like the buckle detailing on the side. And I've seen a lot more sort of expensive designer Chelsea boots a bit like this, but these were exactly the same price as those ones. Um, and I just think, again, they look a lot more premium. Then I've got one last thing that I bought, and it is this green leaf shirt. Now it's something that I probably normally wouldn't pick up. I kind of thought, I'll get it one size bigger than I normally would have, so this is a medium, and normally I'm a small in shirt but I'll wear it sort of bigger on the shoulders and then I'll take it into a pair of chinos or a pair of sort of like tailored shorts and then belt it up. Um, or if I'm going to an evening thing, I might just sort of chuck over like a blazer and then you've got a bit of print that comes through or even a little jumper sweatshirt and then you'll see a bit of the print under the collar. So I've kind of covered all options and bases with this one. Thanks very much for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then press subscribe, it's there or it's there, super simple. And also come and follow me on Snapchat uh, and also Instagram because I put up a lot of these different outfit things before things close, uh, before I put them in any videos, so it's kind of the first place to see them. But I'm gonna see you in my next new video, which will be next Sunday. Bye-bye.